2023 will see significant advancement in the form of digital twins being superimposed on physical systems. This mixed reality will bring numerous benefits to various sectors, ranging from healthcare to manufacturing to retail. So for example, imagine if a surgeon can operate with an AI assistant providing input on human anatomy and patient history instead of having to recall these details from memory. This sounds futuristic, but work is already underway to make this a reality. So expect to see more companies cropping up next year to help further blur the line between the physical and the virtual worlds. What excites me about electric vehicles is that the use model can now completely change. In the past, you had your car, you filled it with the fuel and it stayed there and was just done and sits there. Now, with electric vehicles, you can use the power of the car again for other applications. Number one, A, if you combine the electrical car with autonomous cars, you don't have to bother about charging at all anymore. The car can find its charging location, do the charging and be ready when you need it. Combined with uh, tools like mobile smartphones, you can call the car at some point in time. You don't bother about where the car stands, whether it's charged. It's just there and you can access it whenever you need it. So fantastic future in front of us. In the clamor to acquire more digital skills, savvy marketing teams will increasingly turn over the keys to digital natives rather than following the traditional hierarchy model. The demand for digital will drive a rush to reskill within marketing teams, and this will be both a top down imperative and an individual directive as marketing team members look to fast track their careers. I think that you're going to see a lot more product recalls in the coming years, and it's going to be as a result of the great enablement that happened because of 5G. Uh, 5G and, and the increased capacity that it brought was an attraction point for a lot of developers to build new IoT applications, new metaverse capabilities, new capabilities in products that had never been seen before. And each one of those had to have a rigorous set of compliance and connectivity standards uh, evaluations. And a lot of these cases, they had to be compatible with systems that weren't even in the market yet. And as a result, product developers, when they're doing the development process, they're tempted to, to do what's called a build your own or a do it yourself versus getting a digital twin as a known good reference for that, for that compliance. Those DIYs end up being a shadow of the capability that a digital twin can create. And that shadow of a capability misses certain functionality. That missing functionality could very easily become a gap in a product's capabilities. That gap results in a product recall. And I think you're gonna see a lot more of those in the coming years.